What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And I kind of want to talk about Tupac, especially with the movie dropping yesterday. Classic, dope movie. I think this is another one of those hip-hop movies that everybody needs to see. Cut out all that fake fool shit about the movie not real. This ain't how Pac was. It's not accurate. Man, it's just a fucking movie. Enjoy the shit. Stop trying to censor the shit. This is for your kids' amusement. Have fun. Enjoy a good movie about a hip-hop legend. That's how I feel about it. It. Ain't shit never gonna be 100% accurate Cause nobody is Tupac Nobody was with this guy 24-7 His whole life until he lost his life So I mean, we gonna get a lot of inaccuracies About this movie because A lot of people is just going off of opinion Or what they believe because they was around him For a long time So that's one thing I wanted to cut out But the second thing I wanted to touch on is You know, I think this movie is gonna You know, let the youth know who Tupac was Cause a lot of them don't know You know, this is a new generation I'm mad as hell that the internet that wasn't around when Tupac was alive, you ask me, because a lot of people believe in the legends, the rumors, everything you know about Tupac is shit that you didn't either heard or you seen them in the interview. Now that social media is out, you see that a lot of these people are regular people. Nobody had a chance to really see who the real Tupac was because unfortunately he didn't have a camera on him when he wasn't in mode, when he wasn't in routine, when he wasn't in character. So I just think that was one thing that blew me. A lot of people see him as this mean dude, you know, when actually I think the guy was really a good dude. Uh, rumors of Suge Knight getting Tupac killed, setting him up. I always thought it was bullshit. Remember, Tupac fell in love with Los Angeles and California. He fell in love with the life. The guy started putting Mexican tattoos and shit all on his body, all on his stomach, started rocking bandanas, all kind of shit. That was that Cali shit. He really fell in love. And I'm not sure if Pac knew exactly about that Cali life when he attacked that guy at that Tyson fight. Not saying that gang had shit to do with Pac, but um, that was clearly a gang banger dude who had respect in Cali, and I believe Tupac lost his life over that. A lot of people say Suge Knight set him up. That car had so many gun holes in it, it was riddled. Either Suge Knight knew a nigga who worked for the Navy SEALs Army who was able to pump all those bullets in the car and not kill him. Trust me, Tupac was just gunned down because he was involved in shit that he shouldn't been involved in. But I want to know a comment from y'all. Let me know. Do y'all like that new Tupac movie? It's the homie Truth.